and girls. Can you hear me? Can you see me in this big head? Guess what we're painting today or what we're drawing today? We're drawing a Boston Terrier. That's why I'm wearing this big head. So we're going to draw a dog that looks like this. So get out your pens and your pencils, your crayons, your markers, your colored pencils, and your paper. And let's get started. Now I'm going to put this up here so it's out of the way. All right. Now, the first thing we're going to draw today is the shape of the Boston Terrier's head. We're just going to draw the head. We're not going to put the body on and everything. If you feel clever and want to put the body on, you go ahead and then show me later. Now, we are going to make, oh, let's make a big kind of a circle, but we're going to stop it right about there. We're going to leave this bottom part empty. So we've got the circle, and then we are going to draw, let's go ahead and put the nose in. Can everybody see the nose? I am going to, you know what, I'm going to move this up a little bit because I'm having a hard time seeing it. There we go. Is that better? Now you can see it. So we've got a circle and we've got a nose. Now we're going to go ahead and draw the bottom part of his face. So we're going to draw kind of like a big upside down heart. But the point of the heart would be missing under that. See how it's kind of like a big heart underneath? Then we're going to draw a little line that attaches it there. The, attaches the nose to the mouth, but we're going to make the mouth down here. And the, how we're going to do that is just going to put a little line right like that. So now we've got the bottom part of our Boston Terrier's face. Let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and put some, usually Boston Terriers have a big white part up on the front, front part of their head, on their forehead. So we'll put that in there. Let's give him some pointed ears because that's what kind of ears this kind of dog has. What kind of dog does everyone else have? This is my dog, and my dog's name is Walter, and he's a Boston Terrier, just like this. So there we go. Now let's give him some eyes. Let's make kind of footballs, but really fat, wide footballs this time. We're going to make them really big, kind of like, like a football got blown up. And then we'll put another one over here. And then we'll give him the inside of his eyes. And then we'll give him his little shiny spot that we always do. And then, ah, he doesn't feel finished yet. So let's give him a big bow tie. We're gonna make the big knot on the bow tie right there underneath his face. And then we are going to give him the bow part. And to make it look more like a bow, you give it one line, and then you give it a loopy line. So it looks more like it's been tied. And then I'm gonna give it a line, and then a big loopy line. All right, now we're going to start coloring it in. I'm going to do all the colors first, then we'll go back to the black. Let's go ahead and make his ear pink. The nice inside of his ear is pink. And then, I don't know, let's see. We're going to leave his nose black because Boston Terrier's noses are usually black. How about we give him a little tiny, we'll see a little tiny bit of pink right there on his mouth. Let's go ahead and do the bow tie. We'll do that red. All right. He is looking quite handsome in this bow tie. And then let's use the black. Now we're going to use a lot of black on this one. What we're going to leave white is all here on his forehead. And then we're going to leave his cheeks kind of white too. So let's go ahead and do his nose. We'll do his nose black. It's going to be a lot of coloring black, so you're going to have to have patience with me as I'm doing it. All righty, we got it. And let's do all this up here. Let's do his ears. We'll start with his ears. And I'm coloring quickly again. You can take a lot more time coloring so it fills in a lot better. When I do kind of scribble drawing, it doesn't fill in super, super well. So, there we go. Now let's go ahead and get this side of his face. This would be a good job for crayons. Crayons might be really good because you'll be able to color really nice and dark. Sometimes markers want to give out on you. They get start getting dry and they start saying, please, no more drawing, no more coloring with me. That's enough. Oh, this is looking just like a Boston Terrier. All righty. Now we've got his face all colored in. And now we want to go back and do his eyes. Now I'm going to do his eyes black, but you could do your dog's eyes brown if you wanted to. So we're going to leave the outside circle white. 
Then the next circle we're going to do black. And then we're going to leave the little part in the middle, the little highlight we talked about. We're going to leave that white. All right. So we are almost done here. Look at that Boston Terrier. Isn't he adorable? Now, I just want a little more color on mine. I don't want to, I just can't give up yet. So I'm going to do the whole background. You notice I do a backgrounds a lot of times because I like the brightness of things. So I'm going to color it bright yellow. Now, I had somebody the other day show me a picture that they drew on yellow paper, on construction paper, and it looked pretty cool. I didn't even think about suggesting that for everybody. But, so now we have a Boston Terrier. Now, I'm going to move this back for a second. Come here. I'm going to show you something. Hold on one second because i got to go get him because he's being extremely lazy. All right, here we go. This is my buddy. This is my little dog, Walter. Now, does Walter look like this dog here? I don't know. All right, you draw a picture of Walter for me and you send it to me and I will wait to see these pictures. I can't wait to see them. So do what I say every day. Be safe, wash your hands, listen to your parents, and please be creative, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow. And I don't know if I started out this tape saying this is day 21. 21 days, can you believe it? Well, we will see you tomorrow for day 22. Say goodbye, Walter. Oh, he's not even gonna look at the camera. He's camera shy. We'll see, oh, we'll see you tomorrow, everyone. Bye-bye.